Hello Ratbags, so much to tell you guys about Conan Exiles. Coming up today, we've got a brand new expansion pack coming August the 16th, a snowy icy biome with loads of brand new creatures, loads of new dungeons, loads of new ways to play the game. It's a huge expansion, it's going to be 50% bigger in total for the whole map and it's 100% free as part of their development of Conan Exiles. Conan Exiles has stalled a little bit in the last few months, but they've been working really hard on getting this content ready and it looks fantastic. I can't wait to get my hands on this. Look at the badass armor and the Draugr kind of character with the blue obgin obglins, goblins, I don't know what they are but they're badass. But that's not even the biggest news, the biggest news is it's finally coming to Xbox One Early Access program guys. On the same day, August the 16th, you are going to be able to play the brand new expansion with the base game all for free. It's definitely needed, it's exactly what the Conan needs to come to console and get a brand new fan base. There are so many people on console that still don't have enough choice in open world survival games like these with PvP and it's going to be fantastic that finally Xbox is going to be able to get it. It will not appear on PlayStation until the full release of the game sometime in 2018, probably the first quarter, so between January and March or April. And it's just looking epic guys, I can't wait, it's what I've been waiting for, you might have seen that my content has dwindled on Conan because I just couldn't keep up with certain things and it just felt like it was a little bit lacklustre and it just wasn't as popular either so I have to make sure that my stuff is popular and it's stuff that I'm enjoying. Now I was enjoying Conan Exiles but I found it hard finding people to actually play with me. I know my Xbox people won't let me down, you're going to be coming with me, we're hopefully going to be setting up some sort of clan, it's going to be amazing. This is one of the last updates they've just received, drawbridges and elevators. They've got some really cool unique ideas that are definitely unique to them, they are not just an ARC clone, they've got so many different things going on with the full city management, the way the avatars work, magic orbs, look at this guys, it just looks amazing. It, when you play it, it is a little bit basic in terms of the combat so far. They are having plans to update it a little bit more. It's not going to be Dark Souls like combat, but they are adding some more interesting things to it. I like the game, I really like the game, but like I said, it's just hard actually getting some group of players to play it with me because PvP is where it's at. I want to play PvP, but I don't necessarily can do the grind. I had my own server for a little while, but even then it was hard getting people to come on. So I'm hoping you rat bags on Xbox are going to support me on this and we're going to get on it and show that Conan Exiles is a fantastic game. No word yet on the actual price of the game, but I imagine it will be between $26.99 and $29.99, very similar to the price of Ark Survival Evolved. That's a roughly a little bit more than it was when it came to PC. If it's any more than that, I'd be very surprised, and I hope it isn't. I think that's a good, fair price for the game. But like I said, guys, they have got plans to update it continuously, and the updates are going to be coming to the console, hopefully at the same time as PC. That's what they've said in some of their trailer notes. So exciting times for Conan Exiles like I said it has needed it the player numbers have dwindled a little bit after the initial hype which is understandable because you know that happens particularly after survival games come out and there's so much competition at the moment but it has got a real making of a really good game it just needs that more player base on it. it needs a little bit more sprucing up in terms of combat and it needs definitely some more single player content there is loads of things to do in terms of getting new weapons finding fools to craft special items but they're still lacking sort of open world immersion sort of systems you know without the taming mechanic of other games like Ark there is something you know you have to have more content to do and the thralls are almost like tames the way you have to go about capturing them and, and try and get them that's their sort of taming system but after you've got the first few or you know five or six it just becomes a little bit repetitive because they're very similar in the way you have to get them so hopefully they're going to be revamping that a little bit obviously it'll become harder the more content they add and obviously the more biomes and they're adding npcs as well if you're not caught up with any of my other news videos about conan they are adding an npc it's called the horde it's going to be like a, a really angry mob or, or some sort of um, scourge some sort of big mass army that will sweep across the map and will start attacking some of the biggest tribes so it's a really good mechanic not revealed too much more on it just yet hopefully that's going to be coming in the next few months i won't expect any of that stuff though to come until maybe october november but they have been updating frequently every single week like you saw in that earlier one with that um, pulleys they've been adding stuff every single week more or less whether it's small things, whether it's just being able to dye your armor or the trebuchet, it's still something and it's still good to see that they're doing that every week. And obviously then they've got their major ones where they release stuff. So they released a dungeon for the game last month. 
that was pretty cool pretty cool obviously the game is still a bit buggy and there are still certainly lots of aspects that need working on but i think it's fantastic it's coming to console i really think it's going to boost up the name of conan exiles and i think it's going to boost up the popularity of it massively because i know you guys would love playing this so let's talk about some other stuff that's happening with conan exiles so they're doing a live stream on the 14th of June tonight as part of E3's business. They're going to be on the Xbox show, um, hopefully showing some Xbox actual gameplay. I'm going to do my best to harass the developers and the community manager, Jens, to see if I can get a review key and see if I can get some content out just before launch or ready for launch. It's going to be 9pm tonight UK time, 1pm PST. I don't know if I'm going to do a shoutcast for it tonight because I've got loads on, but if you guys would like to see that, let me know. Maybe we can sort something out. I'm really hyped for this, I, I really want to play this and I've wanted to play it on console more than anything so I'm really looking forward to it. Other things they're talking about are Xbox X, so they're going to be adding 4K resolution support for that when it comes out and I'm sure they're going to open up some more PC settings and make it more of a PC experience using the Xbox X's power. I'm not so fussed about that side of things, as long as the gameplay is tight, I'm not too fussed about 4K resolution. But let me know, are you going to be upgrading? Are you going to be buying a brand new TV and an Xbox X to play it on? Or are you just hopeful that it's going to look okay just on a regular Xbox or Xbox S? They've been increasingly adding more community content to the game as well, so you've got your options and opportunities to actually send them footage of your gameplay, ask questions, do fan art, so it's definitely worth checking out. I'll leave the link down below to the forum, and hopefully they'll have a proper forum website up and running very soon, rather than just being on Steam. But they do have some excellent questions being answered by the creator, and they've been doing live streams every Friday, more or less, showing you guys new gameplay, new bits, what they're working on. So they really have been trying to keep in contact with that community keep them up to date every week about what's going on with the development of the game so let's go and take a look at some of the answers and questions that were asked in last week's q a so one of the ways that you can play conan exiles is as a sorcerer a dark sorcerer so it's going to be a valid option to actually use in the game and part of that is going to be the ability to transform into other creatures shape-shifting Again, a really exciting prospect about the ability to maybe change into a werewolf or a vampire or something else like that. That sounds amazing. Another question was asked about the thralls. There are different types of thralls that do different abilities, whether or not they're a cook thrall, whether or not they're a specialist armor thrall. That's the way the game works in different camps, so you are going to have to go far and wide to get every single type of thrall. Hopefully this is going to be expanded, like I said, it needs that mechanic, something to do day to day like taming or like thrall taking. As well as that, it'd be interesting to see some more real time events happen. They've got lots of plans with the ghost stones at the moment where you actually see footage of what happens in the past that might lead to some treasure or something else. But definitely would like to see some more events. Fantastic, they've got the storm event that comes along. And like I said, they do have plans with the PvP hall to come along as well. Someone asked about the actual AI of NPCs and creatures saying it's a bit derpy and it is a little bit derpy but obviously that is still to be worked on, the game's only been out 5 months so lots of improvements to come, hopefully we're going to see lots of improvements by the time the game releases in early access in August. The Elevate you saw in the trailer wasn't even going to be in the game, it was made by a developer in his spare time, he showed it to the creator Joe Bylos and he just agreed it. They are adding much more to the Siege collection as well, that's part of the big thing with Conan, obviously the PvP experience and taking other people's bases, even without avatars, you're still going to be able to use Sieges. They've already got the actual uh, trebuchet and there are plans to use creatures to use some of these Siege weapons as well. So just a few questions there answered by the creator, just to give you a heads up about what they plan to be doing. There are usually a lot more in depth questions but I've only shown you one week's one. Now the content is definitely coming to console, I will be ramping up my content again. I'm going to be showing you guys some tips and guides just for release, as well keeping you up to date with any progress in terms of content updates before now and August the 16th. Previously the devs did say they would be looking into dedicated servers, most likely, most likely it will be running the same as Xbox. 
I don't recommend that though, buying another Xbox to host the server has been notoriously a bad idea for Ark Survival Evolved. While it can be fun at limited times, most of the time it crashes frequently, it just, it's not meant for that job. So I actually hope they don't do that so it doesn't sort of con people into buying something and having a bad experience. I'd rather wait until actual official dedicated servers come out that we can rent because it just, it just makes a big, big problem unless they can get it really stable. That's something Ark have failed to do in their development on Xbox is keep dedicated servers stable. So I hope, I hope that Conan, if they do go down that route, they can make it really stable. We'll have to wait and see guys. All things you expect, PvP, PvE, are all going to be there in Conan. You can play single player. Anything you basically want to do in most survival PvP, PvE games, it'll be there. The base building is just epic though, this is what I really want to get into. So if you've not seen any of my content on it, go and check out some stuff. I've got stuff where we did a build off with VAGI Jane, we've got loads of Let's Play videos, i even done a PvP series, you lot all complaining to me about doing Xbox, I did do a small PvP series with my good friend 50s. Um, so loads of stuff, tips and guides I've done, I've done previews, and I've kept you guys moderately up to date every few weeks with a brand new update of what's going on in the latest content update and patches. So, I'm hyped for Conan, I hope you are too. Let me know what you think about the game in the comments down below. Let me know if you're going to be joining me on Xbox so we can rinse out the little clans running around. Hopefully I'll be able to give you guys all the information and we'll be ruling the Conan Exiles lands. I'm Jay Plays Games, I'll see you ratbags later.